game, Lions head coach, Tyler Hopperton, quarterback, senior Josh Taylor, and freshman, redshirt freshman, defensive back, linebacker, nickel, whatever you want to call it, Brady Pierce. Guys, first off, congratulations on a fantastic season. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hop, first thing I want to talk to you about, I kind of already asked you this out on the field, but you talk a lot about um, what a loss like this can do for these young men dealing with adversity in their life, and, and that's a big deal about how you run your program. Can you talk about that and give us a little bit of your opening thoughts on the game? Yeah, for sure. Uh, first, yeah, talking about the seniors, you know, like I told them, if they, you know, approach uh, how they approach kind of flipping this program over the last four or five years, um, the same way they, you know, approach kind of their next step in life. I mean, they're going to have nothing but success and not just, you know, in, in terms of jobs and money, but in terms of being husbands and fathers and everything else. And, uh, you know, ultimately that's what we start with. And it's our job to get talented football players into that program to be able to mix to do both. And, you know, we definitely did that with the senior class and, um, you know, going to miss these guys. You know, they make me look like a halfway decent football coach. So I definitely appreciate that. And, um, you know, ultimately in the game, you know, we didn't feel like we played the cleanest game ever and, you know, um, you know gave a top ranked team run for their money at home. And uh, biggest thing with our guys is, you know, people throughout the week, you think, you know, if they show up or, you know, getting down, all that kind of stuff, like that kind of stuff doesn't bother these guys, you know what I mean? So um, never, never thought we wouldn't come back, never thought we wouldn't have a chance at the end once I saw these guys get started and, you know, ups and downs of a playoff football game. It's a great game. Someone's got to win, someone's got to lose. Brady, that was one of the best defensive performances I've ever seen on a football field. First off, congratulations. Thank you. Then over 21 tackles, single game, Mount St. Joseph record in your final game of your freshman season. Well, what led to your success today, man? What led to you being able to make those plays? I just didn't want to let down these seniors. They worked way too hard for this to end that early. Um, I'm sorry to them that we couldn't make that last play on the, on the last drive, cause another turnover to give them the ball back. <laughs> Josh, it's been a fantastic ride for you, young man. Um, I, I can honestly say when you started your career, I don't know that I expected or anyone expected you to be this polished of a football player by the end of it. Um, I, I know I was talking to their, their D-line a little bit before this. Their main goal was to keep you in the, in the box, like to keep you from running the football. And you still ran it for 100 yards. Talk a little bit about your, your game today. Obviously, we had the big pick to end it. I, you know, that's tough. But just talk about your game and, and, and how today played out for you. Um, I think it really just starts with preparation. We have a hungry group of people from seniors all the way down to freshmen. And obviously, our coaches put us in really good positions to, to kind of win the game. I mean, we had a chance at the end. Um, the O-line and Coach Bailey, the offensive line coach, they never stop. Coach Bailey's continuously on them, and it shows for them because they're – they're fantastic. I mean, I didn't have to run sometimes. Sometimes it was just great coverage downfield and it was holes opened up, so I ran. I had a lot of time back there. And then our receivers do a great job getting open. And then when I do scramble, they block, which you don't see a lot with receivers. They're very physical. And then our running back set the tone. So when you have to worry about a, an accumulative of all that kind of stuff, it opens a lot of stuff up for me. And then our defense did a great job too. I mean, obviously it was a little tough at first, but then they put us right back in a position to win the game. They got stops when they needed to. So I think all around it just comes down to preparation. Preparation and the willingness to win. And I think both were there. It's just it's just football. Sometimes things don't go your way. It's a game of inches. I think on that pick we had a we had a player open in the end zone. I thought I I'm confident we would have hit that and executed that play. But like I said, it's football. D lineman gets his hands up and it just so happens we get knocked for straight to one of their dudes. So it's unfortunate, but I mean <laughs> nothing you can do now, I guess. So you gotta move on and keep on going. So. Coach, uh, your team came out strong, showed a ton of resiliency throughout the in the start. What did you tell your team as you, as you got up, you, you built the lead, and, and, and in those moments, uh, what, what were your thoughts and what were you telling your team as you, you guys really came out and, and uh, showed who you were early on? Right, yeah, so Brady's on you know all of our kickoffs of, uh, throughout the year. He's heard me say the phrase blank slate uh, over and over, where it's, you know, it's football game. It was this one was a roller coaster, yeah. and you got to be careful not to get on that ride, right? That you have to be able to to stay here when everything else is here. And so we saw a little bit of that. I mean, it's you know we didn't think uh, you know we was going to fold by any means. It was hey, let's do it while we can. Yeah. And uh, 
and then ultimately, you know, kind of bounced back out, ended up kind of flipping the other way and back and forth. So, you know, ultimately it's just kind of blank slate, just reminding these guys the context doesn't matter in games like this. One play at a time, the call comes in, do your job, and that's it. Josh, on that fourth and six, um, the last offensive play of the game, you end up getting sacked. But did you see something different out of their defense? Did it look like they, they looked like they brought a little more pressure than they had been most of the game, try to close that lane for you to get out and run? <laughs> they definitely did that. Um, it looked like, well, they did bring guys off the outside, and so I couldn't turn out like I love to do. So they brought dudes on the outside to make me step up, and they also brought dudes on the inside, and they just closed everything up. And they came fast, and there wasn't really anything I could do. So it was great, great play by their DC to put them in that position, and they executed it good. And like I said, it's football. You win some, you lose some, and they just got us on that play, I guess. So. Pop, was there any thought to not calling that timeout before that play to keep three to try to get the ball back if you didn't make it? Um, yes, but ultimately, um, you know, ultimately it was a fourth and game type play. Um, they didn't necessarily have something there. You wanted to think about it. Um, to me, you kind of take it while you get it there with kind of how um, with Wheaton, kind of how they were playing, you know, offensively. We figured they could kind of lean on us a little bit right there, and it was kind of like, hey, we have the ball now. You don't necessarily want to take your chance in that way. Uh, sometimes, though, if he has a play, we roll. He didn't want to talk about it. I was good with that. Coach, it was a physical game. It felt like it, yeah. both teams gave every, every effort they had, and, and particularly physically. Uh, was that something you, you, you folks were expecting and planning on, and, 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 and how did that transpire? And, and you guys obviously gave as much physical as you got in right. this game. Yeah, that's, I mean, ultimately, that's what we do. You know, yeah. if any of our alumni are watching, yeah. Blue Collar Tough is something we've talked about for 34 years of being a program. You know, a, a Cincinnati versus Chicago team, I don't think anybody expected a finesse game, <laughs> you know. It's going to be a little blood, a little snot, a little everything else in between. Uh, that's what our guys like. So I think once it started going and started getting hit, I think both teams kind of built on that. It was going back and forth. But these guys, I mean, that was probably the first thing I told them on Sunday morning meeting is, you know, or once once we knew the draw is a they're big and they're physical, they're angry, right? They run, they, you know, play hard, play fast. Um, but so do we. So it definitely became that game. And uh, but like I said, that's that's kind of you know what we do or um, kind of what football is to us. Brady, obviously you transferred in. Both of you guys are transfers, which is really cool to think about. Um, you transferred in to play with your brother. How cool has that experience been this year? I mean, has it been everything you thought it would be? Yes, sir, and and, and more. So uh, it, it really sucks that it had to end this soon. Um, we really thought that we could have made it all the way. Um, I I feel like we just came up short. He he played a hell of a game. He hasn't even really like played that much like all year. Then played a lot in the conference championship last week. Made a huge interception. Played really great this week. I mean, I couldn't be more proud of him. Pop, um, basically, just sum up your feelings on this year and this game and, and where your program's headed going forward. Yeah, last year, um, you know, 10 and 0, make the playoffs for the first time in 13 years. Um, you kind of feel like it's a monkey off your back a little bit. You kind of got the happy to be here's and that sort of thing. Felt like we played a sloppy game last year, and that's been the pit in our stomach all year. And this year, though, we didn't necessarily allow that to be a cloud over our head. It's more this driving force of understanding that we really need to break it down day by day, play by play. And these guys love to play. They practice like that. They love the game of football. Every opportunity, regardless if it was you know, a top 10 ranked team in the country or an 0-10 team, these guys come out flying. And you know, focusing on the how and everything we do, that a lot of times the results will follow that. And uh, focusing on the work if you want to change your results. And uh, these guys definitely did that, that I thought the preparation this week was way better than it was last year in the playoffs. And uh, I thought their preparation against some of those 0 10 teams or that sort of thing was for teams like this. So that's what kept it close to where we didn't dip when we could have dipped and that sort of thing. So I'm very proud of these guys and just, you know, their, their steady workload, their focus, but ultimately just their love of the game. And I think that showed today. Pop, Josh, Brady, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.